I'm your host, Jimmy Chen. Arr. Hello, welcome to my channel. I'm trying something new. Coming to you straight from my studio. I'd like to talk to you about prayer. <sighs> Remember, prayer is talking to God. In the past, you had to kneel, you know, you had to kneel like this and show down. Come right back to here. See, see, I'm sincere, you know. From this position, there's no way I could lie to you. Right. So, in the past, you know, people were meaner. They're like, kneel down there. It's like, down there? But the ground's so hard. Oh, damage my knees. No, now we use our brains, you know. They'll make you kneel down like this, like you're a bad person. I'm bad. God hates me. But uh, not really. You know, this is actually the, it's called a position of humility because God is great, you know. We forget that he really is a very powerful and person that we need to be like. Like I, I, I want to, I want to become like him. You know, there's just no other way to do it. You know, like he created a human being to have these knee things, and then. And then you just bend him like that when you talk to him. But he's you not know that. He he doesn't require require it all the time. Not not all the time. But then there's another one called face down. Face down. Face down is interesting. That you like. See, I'm walking on my knees. Face down is this one. I'll tell your secret, Elijah. Eliyahu Hanavi, he used to do face down all the time. But then I'll tell you the real, the real, real. All right. Let's see, it's like I'm a Muslim. See, this is the Tuni Neil. You usually don't pray from this position. You can do the one knee. Pray like this. But you know, your hands like this. When your hands are like this, it's cool. Right? But usually, you know what's adorable to Katosh Maliki? When you pray right here, like at the foot of the bed. But this one, it's called face down. You go, ah, you have to, I am not worthy. You are God, Lord Jesus. You are the Son. You are God, you are Father, Son, the Holy Spirit. I am not with you. You are God, I am not. This is important. You go like this. It's love. You move your body like this. Seems kind of, you know, lightweight. But I guess the guys don't move their body. And Put your head down like that. That's face down. But Elijah was cooler. Like he would face down and then he would do the love thing and he would crunch like this. He's like Darth, he's like Darth Vader. When he would do this, it means he was gonna get up and turn around and kill you. It's true. So, uh, let me tell you the real wheel. The real way to do it is you just find a chair, you know, like this. 
See, that is a very extreme, extreme uh, humility. Not for everyone. You know. You'll never be able to like, laugh. You can't do that every day. So those are like prayer postures. So what you really want to do is just find a chair, you know, and sit down. And just pray like this, you know, pray like this. And close your eyes. Trust. You know, trust. And, you know, we learned the Lord's Prayer so you can. Pray the Lord's Prayer. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our sins. Yeah, I might, you might want to take the hat off. Another one, a cool one, is like we bow down and lay our crowns at your feet. So you look. Like, Put your hat down, you know, on the ground. Bow before the Lord. So let's start all over. Pray like this. Close your eyes. Trust. Trust. Trust God, the Creator, the Lord. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done. On earth as it is in heaven, give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses or sins, as we forgive those who trespass or sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. In Jesus' name, amen. So that's the real real. You just pray like that, you know. pretty much it yeah you, it's called bowing your head closing your eyes and you fold fold your hands and it's funny like you could bow your hands and fold your head or you could close 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 your head bow your hands and fold your eyes But it's bow your head, right? close your eyes, and fold your hands. That's how you pray. Okay, but what I really wanted to talk to you about is this creed. Where's my hat? My hair is messy. My hair is messy. Remember, I'm going back right there. Trust. I'll tell you a funny story later. about when you might want to remind me to tell you the story when my girlfriend at the time Karen we went to a different state and we had all our stuff in the U-Haul and we were supposed to move into an apartment later but we needed to get in faster so she told me, talk to the manager to, you know, somehow let us move in earlier. And uh, it was very funny, you know. She told me to do all the talking. You do all the talking. You know? I'll do all the talking. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it, Karen. And there was something wrong with my eyes. So it looked like I was hitting on the apartment manager and she kept getting angrier and angrier but I wasn't hitting on her I kept going trust I thought she thought I was doing a bad job <laughs> she's getting mad I thought you know don't worry don't worry honey I call her honey don't worry I got I got this trust I'll get us in there. But I did, I did. I got, we moved in earlier. I'll tell you the entire story later. But there is a creed called the Apostles' Creed. Where's my hat? 
No one. I don't want to give you anything. You don't want what I have. Haha. <laughs> Okay, so the Apostles Creed is on my blog, which you can find. It's, you know, it's somewhere on the channel page. The Apostles Creed was put together by these guys called the Apostles. They were 12 or 13 of the Lord Jesus. You know, he is called the Savior or the Messiah, the Savior of the world, the Messiah, you know, the one foretold of, the Anointed One. He's like the Holy One, perfect. But he had, he had 12 followers, the Apostles. And they wrote, put together the Apostles' Creed. Like each one contributed one sentence. And it sounds like this. You can pray this as a prayer. But if you believe all of it, then you could be baptized. You should be baptized immediately with water by a pastor. A real one, not a phony that just wants your money. Remember, you have to find a real pastor that just wants to see you do well and to get connected with Jesus and wants you to do all those Christian things like read the Bible and pray and work with the Holy Spirit to become the better you and one day go to heaven and not die and your consciousness dissipate and you become no more so the creed you can pray you know remember you just have to bow your head, close your eyes, and like fold your hands. But you can have your hands like this, too. You, you don't have to hold them up like this. You can fold your hands and just keep them somewhere around here, you know. Or in your lap. You know? Yeah, bow your head, close your eyes. So you could pray this. But if you, you know, how can you read it and have your eyes closed at the same time? So Sometimes you have to open your eyes. But mostly, when you pray in a group, you keep them closed. You can keep them, you know, you can open them a little, peek, peek a little, you know. So it goes, I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary, he suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. Remember, like, the tone of how you read it matters. Like, you know, the, in the sad parts, don't sound happy. Don't be like, he suffered under... Pa no, 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 no. Be like, he suffered under Pontius Pilate. He was crucified, he died. You know, and be like, he died! No, no, no. You know, he's an important you know, it's sad that he died you know he's he's Jesus you know so he was crucified he died and was buried and he descended to hell the third day so this, uh, this part you can like and the third day he rose again from the dead so he's amazing he ascended to heaven and is seated at the right hand of God the Father Almighty from there he will come to judge the living and the dead I believe in the Holy Spirit tell you another secret it's good if you could say I believe it I believe it I believe that's one of the best 
sentences using the word it. Quite often, other people, they should not use the word it. That's another secret, super secret. I believe in the Holy Spirit, our God. The Holy Catholic Church. Catholic means like it's everywhere, not the actual... It means universal, like the church, but the church, it, you are the church. Like, I believe in the holy, universal church. The church is like all the real Christian people, you know, who believe in Jesus. So I believe in all these people that believe in Jesus like you and they're all over the earth right universal is like everywhere you know, all over the earth and we are all like united in Christ like through Jesus sacrifice we are made like a family you know we're it's not quite a it's called the church we are this group that all believes in Jesus all over the world and we are not actually holy. Because when you believe in him, him and then you are baptized, he comes to live in your heart and that is from the Holy Spirit. So you have like holiness in your heart. From God, the Creator. And uh, so I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Universal or Catholic Church, which is all the people, the real Christians, the communion of saints. So you remember, like, they're fake saints and they're real saints. The real saints are like the other real Christians that died and they went to heaven. So, the communion of saints is hard to describe, but they are not dead. They are in heaven and they look down and see you, you know, from heaven. And you actually remember like we are all one right through Jesus Christ's sacrifice there is like another larger group see like all of us who really believe in Jesus on the earth right we're called the church the the real Christians so we're like a group but it's actually a bigger group than you think like all of the people like us who died and went to heaven we're I mean, they're in heaven, so we're like this bigger group. We are all one, like through Jesus Christ's sacrifice. I mean, like here's us, right? And then imagine heaven's like around us. Like now, now this is the group, you know, the entire group that is made one, you know, through Jesus Christ. And then I believe that believe in the forgiveness of sins that you know your sin can be forgiven and uh, so anyone can be forgiven the resurrection of the body that means that you believe that Jesus the Lord can do it when you die, and that's sad, somehow he'll raise you up. Like your spirit, he'll raise, you know, fly to heaven. And the life everlasting. And then you believe that he can give you a very, very, very long life. Like you can live forever. He has the power to do that. You will never die. Amen. So if you believe all of that, as you know, you could pray that. It ends with amen. So of course you could pray that, and in Jesus' name, amen. 
If you believe all of that, and you may have to look at the Holy Bible to find, you know, stories or they're called Bible verses that talk about some of them, some of these, you know, if you're, if you're not clear on, you know, any of these, like, who is or who was the Virgin Mary? You know, you have to look the story up. So the story up in the Holy Bible. So that is my talk on praying the Apostles Creed. Remember, leave a comment below if you have questions. And comment on my new style talking to you like this remember keep God first and he'll take your places